safi another great day tuna connect hapa double updates mtazamaji wangu mimi naitwa Mr. Double J kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa siasa usikuwe na wasiwasi hiyo ni nini nalia nani danki eh danki eh ujui najua <laughs> eh danki flani kama analialia hapa chini hapa kuna mtu flani na nini so usikuwe na wasiwasi labda anataka maji bwana shukran za dhati kwa wote ambao mnaendelea kufuatilia double updates kama hauje subscribe uh, labda tunakutana kwa mara ya kwanza na kuomba jiunge na familia ni rahisi kabisa unachotakiwa kufanya ni kusubscribe na siku zote huwa nasema ukisubscribe utakuwa umejipa nafasi poa sana ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati lakini pia hapa chini kwenye sehemu ya comments naomba tuitumie vizuri niachie bendera ya nchi yako that's kwa wale ambao wanatazama kutoka nje najua kuna watu ambao wako Switzerland uh, wale watu wangu wa Qatar Dubai Germany na hizo sehemu nyingi lakini najua sio simu zote uh, zinaweza zikaacha <laughs> bendera kwa kwa maneno pia unaweza kaniambia tu fresh alafu kila kitu kinakaa vizuri i think tunahesabu kama masaa fulani hivi and uh, tarehe ishirini uh, itakuwa inaingia itakuwa inafika siku kubwa kabisa ambayo sio Kenya peke yake nadhani hata dunia nzima uh, sasa hivi wanafuatilia na wanasubiri uh, kuona ni kitu kipi ambacho Raila atakuwa anafanya jana uh, nadhani Raila aliwapiga kumi fulani sufuri kwa sababu aliwaambia uh, in case hatutampata <laughs> William Samoe Ruto Harambe House ndo sema ambapo uh, panapatikana nani uh, ofisi ya rais lakini pia ofisi uh, ya naibu wa rais alafu kule status ndio kabisa naishi but naambiwa hata kuwa kule uh, William Samoe Ruto status na nikaona watu wanalalamika kwamba inakuwaje hapa eh sasa Raila anatuambiaje atuendi tena status eti watatuma representatives na nini hiyo ni story nyingine sasa story ambayo nataka nikupe right now ni kwamba kuna watu ambao ni watumishi wa Mungu kwa kipindi fulani uh, nadhani mmekuwa mkiona wamekuwa wakipinga uh, miongoni mwa movements ambazo wamekuwa kifanya William Samoe Ruto lakini pia vile vile kumsupport uh, Raila Molodinga and uh, mnawajua mwingine anaitwa uh, Pastor Ezekiel lakini nikiachana na Pastor Ezekiel kuna mmoja hapa mtazamaji wangu acha nikutafutie uh, jina lake before nikwambie kasema kitu gani huyu mwingine anaitwa Archbishop Anthony Muheria uh, Muheria anatoka wapi sijui ni Kirinyaga ama ni wapi lakini ni famous anajulikana uh, mtani uh, uh, I think anatoka Nyeri Nyeri Archbishop um, Anthony Muheria ni miongoni mwa watu ambao uh, wamekuwa wakipinga movements fulani za serikali movements fulani za William Samoe Ruto pamoja na Riga Gashagwa so uh, wote nitakwambia ni kitu kipi ambacho wanazungumza and uh, nadhani nataka nianze na Pastor Ezekiel kwa sababu nataka nikusikilizishe hapa kidogo Ezekiel anasema kitu gani na points zingine hapa za muhimu kabisa amezungumza dakika tatu ana points uh, zingine ambazo zimenchukua dakika tatu kabisa akijaribu kumfikishia uh, ujumbe William Samoruto so kwa pamoja nataka tusikilize hapa sasa hii wamemuimbia rais Ruto hasla hasla rais nisikie hawakupendi usipowapa kile wanachotaka wembe ni ule ule watakunyoa hao watu kufikia hapo anasema wembe ni ule ule si kwamba wanakupenda unaona eh anajua kitu ambacho natakiwa kujiuliza sasa hivi ni wembe ni ule ule wembe ni gani so kutoka hapa ndio tutajua wembe ni gani let's continue rais ulipoenda kwa makanisa yao na ulimtolea Mungu huku watolea walikuimba wewe sijui kama unanielewa so, unajua kuna tabia fulani ya na, niseme tu timu nzima ya Kenya Kwanza ikiongozwa na rais William Samoe Ruto lakini pia vile vile na naibu yake au naibu wake ambaye ni Rigathi Gashagwa I think kanisa sasa hivi kitu kikubwa ambacho uh, huaga wanafanya ni siasa mara nyingi inachukua asilimia kubwa percentage kubwa unajua sasa huaga tunatoka kwenye line tunatoka kwenye kitu ambacho tunatakiwa kufanya you understand mara nyingi inakuwa ni Mungu lakini Mungu huaga anawekwa kando alafu sasa issue ya siasa lakini sasa kama unapewa platform ya kupiga siasa inamaanisha mwisho siku lazima utoe kitu kizito alafu unajua ukiona rais alafu kakuja na naibu wake na nini hapo pasta ana anawakika ana na milioni fulani mbili na nini so imekuwa ikiwa control hiyo pesa ambayo ina wanapewa kwa sababu eh pesa ni pesa wewe unajua sabuni ya roho kabisa and uh, that's the reason why wanasemaga siku hizi 
uh, watumishi wa Mungu ni wachache sana eh? wengi wao wanafanya biashara yes ni biashara hakuna mtu ambaye hataki pesa eh? wote ni biashara au wote wanafanya biashara lakini sasa unatakiwa ku control unajua biashara unaipea asilimia ngapi alafu neno la Mungu ambalo ndo sababu kubwa ya wao kuwa na makanisa wao kuwa, watu wengine tuseme uh, kuja kanisani uh, kwa unadhani biashara kubwa inakuwa ni tuombe Mungu uh, tufundishwe vitu vili vitatu alafu baadaye tunaweza tukaenda nyumbani tukisema ai tumepata kitu lakini imekuwa tofauti sana sasa Ezekiel hapa anatuambia kwamba mlitolea Mungu sasa hata sio ishu ya Mungu hapana walipewa pastors najua Ezekiel hataki kusema hivyo lakini pesa wao wanapewa pastors so watu ambao mara nyingi wanakuja kanisani lazima wana yes lazima wana wana wana, wana shukuru wana cheka na nini kwa sababu wanaona kanisa limepata kitu na padri yuko vizuri kanunua gari nzuri na maisha inaendelea vizuri kabisa you understand so huku nje sasa ndo kuna tatizo na ndo maana Ezekiel anawaambia huku nje mkitoka ndo kabisa hamtaelewana na watu kwa sababu hamjatoa ili watu hawa ambao wako nje wapate aa wale wa ndani ndo wamepata wale wenye kanisa usidani hizo pesa wanapewa kabisa watu ambao wameenda kuhubiri no wale ambao wameenda kuhubiri ndo wanapata wanapata ile pesa no watu ambao wameenda sasa kusikiliza neno la Mungu ndo watu ambao sasa inabidi wakue hapo kwa sababu bila wao pia hawa wana sasa hawezi wakakuja mwana sasa hindi kwa kanisa ambao kuna watu ishirini no anaenda kwa watu ambao ku, uh, kuna kuna watu kama elfu moja anaweza akawa convince unaona eh nitafanya 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 kitu ambacho amekuwa kifanya William Samuel Ruto na i think uh, makanisa kibao sana eh waliingia box so wacha tuendelee wakikukosa kwa makanisa yao watakuhubiri wewe ubaya wangu ni huo tu mimi nitakwambia kweli na uzuri wangu ni huo si hao hao waliimba wakasema rais Kenyatta tano ngapi amtaki kusema nyinyi na sababu nyinyi ndio mliimba tano tena uruto ikapasuka katikati na wakasema tuku <laughs> Sawa. Najua Ezekiel anachukiwa na, na, na watu wengi sana eh kwa sababu nishaikuambiwa kwamba Ezekiel ni miongoni mwa watumishi wa Mungu ambao the reason why watumishi wengine hawampendi ni kwa sababu anaonekanaga kama kuonea wivu makanisa mengine. Kwa sababu najua mwanasiasa akienda same afa anatoa pesa nzuri. Obvious padri lazima tabol nini gari kali nyumba nzuri, maisha mazuri, unaenda state house, lazima una nani class yako inapanda kidogo. And uh, Ezekiel anakuwa tofauti sana. Ye alisha sema akubali kabisa mwanasiasa yeyote eh kanisa lake. You understand? So mwisho siku hapo ndo kabisa watu wanamuonaga kama mse fulani wa wivu. Sio watu lakini hawa watu mshwengine. But waga na point kwa sababu angalia uh, squeeze eh unakuta kwamba siasa ni nyingi sana siasa ni nyingi sana kanisani so hata unakuta there is no need kwenda mimi by the way miwaga siendi kanisani kwa sababu ishakuwa too much eh ishakuwa too much so wewe jitafutie kanisa ambayo hakuna siasa nyingi bwana eh tutumie vibaya hiyo platform ya kanisa unanielewa but sasa nitaachana na uh, Ezekiel kidogo nataka nizungumzie uh, bishop Anthony Uh, kutoka Nyeri na nitakupa statement yake. Yeye amezungumzia swala la CAS ambao wamechaguliwa juzi na William Samoruto. I think watu wanasema ni nomination lakini sio nomination. Nakumbuka hata kipindi ambacho wanachaguliwa wale uh, kina nani wale? CS cabinet secretaries, right? Uh, watu walizungumza maneno mengi sana. Tukasema oh wataenda bunge, sijui bunge itakataa watu wengine na nini. Mimi nikawaambia vizuri. Ruto akisha suggest wao ndo wana, wana majority kwenye bunge. Wachana hata na majority kwenye bunge. Nani anaamua? Ni Moses Wetangu ambaye ndo speaker wa bunge la kitaifa. You understand? Sasa hapo sasa wewe uweze ukaniambia menominate. Eti sasa wataenda wakaguliwe. Sijui waangaliwe, sijui wamefanya nini, watafute ni nani amefanya makosa asipewe. No. Kasha wapewa kazi ndio hivyo kabisa. Ni same tu na IBC. Mwenyekiti wa chama cha na nani? Sio chama lakini mwenyekiti wa tume ambayo inasimamia masuala ya uchaguzi that's IBC ni nani? Si alikuwa ni wa Fletch Bukati. Sasa angalia ma commissioners. Sasa hapa wabunge kwenye bunge ni commissioners. So whether wanakubali au hawajakubali anayetangaza ni nani? Ni, mbu, ni nani? Ni speaker kwenye bunge. So hapa hakuna issue ya nominated, sijui nominations, sijui na nini, sijui 
eti sio ataenda waangalie alafu baadaye ndo ichaguliwe no it's not like that hapo issue ni kwamba washapita sema pale ni kupoteza tu muda siyo hela nyingi na nini na vitu kama hivyo lakini hakuna kitu kingine ambacho eti tunasema o oh, ataenda pale waangalie so kwa haraka haraka hapa uh, uh, nyeri uh, arch bishop bishop anthony muheria has termed the recent move by president william ruto to appoint 50 chief administrative secretary kwa mabano cas position as wrong move at a time millions of kenya kenyans are facing starvation across the country you understand so bishop point yake ya kwanza ni kuhusu cas ambao ni hamsini. na anasema kwamba muda huu hapa mgumu kabisa watu wanapitia uh, muda mgumu sema chakula ni mara moja tu kwa siku tunahangaika sisi kama maskini inabidi tupambane zaidi eh, tukule hata kama ni mara moja hivi mara mbili bahati bahati eh In fact mara mbili unakuwa tajiri zaidi. Mara tatu wewe sio mkenya. Yaani wewe utakuwa umetokea sehemu nyingine. Na siku hizi tunakula mara moja moja alafu maisha inaendelea. So at bishop hapa ana point fulani ambayo ya, ina uja uzito, ndio? So anasema kwamba hii haikutakikana sasa hivi kwa sababu kuna mambo mengi ambayo yanatakiwa kushughulikiwa kama ukosefu wa chakula, unaona eh? Uhaba wa maji, unaona? Yaani kuna mambo mengi ambayo yanaendelea sasa hivi wangetumia hiyo hela kufanya nini? Uh, kutengeneza nao. Speaking just hours after Zimio team Chris uh, criti- uh, criticized the move Bishop Muheria Green with Zimio's on their position on CAS said that the move will bulge the wage bill that the president promised to trim to save Kenyans we ask the president and the entire government to listen to pleas of Kenyans in distress we are in a problem still because we have not fully addressed the famine still We are talking about the cost of living and we understand the economic situation but we need to address it. Muheria observed. He however said that it was so unfortunate that the government appointed 50 CAS instead of using that money to address uh, the situations in Kenya. You understand I think point Uh, yake muheria ni loud and clear kabisa kwa sababu amezungumzia issue ambayo hata mimi mwenyewe nilishaizungumzia nikasema kwamba 50 CAS mimi nilishakwambia mshahara wao kila mwezi ni 765,000 imagine alafu wanapewa kila mmoja anapewa kama 35 million ya nyumba sasa kuna 10 million ya gari you understand so hawa watu wa msini alafu ukiangalia kazi yao hawatusaidii hakuna kitu ambacho hakuna role ambayo wana play eti tunaweza kusema kwamba eh Awa sasa inabidi tuwaweke weke ndio vitu viendelee. Kama imeshinda CS, e, kuna mpaka PS. Imagine kusudi kuna parastatal sijui na nini. Yaani mambo ni mengi kuna manafasi nyingi sana na huu Ruto nadhani ndio miongoni mwa watu ambao walisema kwamba wao kipata nafasi hawataingililia issue ya hao watu hao nani wakubwa kupata sijui nini. E, kupata viti. Understand? Yeye alisema kwamba yeye akiingia Mama mboga kwanza. Sasa hivi mama mboga utahangaika mpaka utatii. Ngojea miaka mitano enjoy hiyo shilingi 5000 ulishapewa. Hakuna kitu kingine ambacho utangojea mama mboga. Alafu wewe mtu wa boda boda eh, pambana kabisa. Nataka upambane kabisa kwa sababu hiyo uliambiwa ati oh sijui. Eh? Ulidhani utanunua fuel shingapi? Ah ah. Ndio hivyo kabisa. So inabidi uh, mpambane pambane hivyo. Lakini hata kabla sijamalizia uh, nataka ni kuache na matangazo hapa um, ambayo unaiona kwenye screen yako. And uh, here hapa wanakwambia kwamba this is the year to transition into data analytics from the comfort of your house learn the technical skills the employers want and be job ready for remote work learn SQL uh, Alteryx and Tableau in 14 weeks with onwards data analytics career track limitless opportunity for those in diaspora so kama wewe ni mtu ambaye uh, ni sembe wana wewe ni kijana ambaye una ndoto ya kujifunza uh, masuala ya yeah, data analytics kwa na wasiwasi eh unaweza kwa cheki kuna info hapa chini kwenye ya comments nime pin comment fulani hapo juu uh, kuna link yao kuna email kuna nambari ya whatsapp unaweza kwa cheki kwa enroll alafu waambie ni Mr Double J amekutuma anyways nataka ni sign out kuna mambo mengi ambayo yanafuata tunatakiwa kabisa kuzicheki hapa kwa hiyo what you need to do ni kusubscribe that's kama wewe ni mtu ambao tunakutana for the first time that's kwa mara ya kwanza na itakufanikisha nadhani itakupa nafasi ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata bye bye